Yo, what's up guys? My name is Craig Lucas. Uh, my name is Warren. This is Mr. Barber. And if you're serious about grooming and you're serious about growing in this industry, then subscribe to this channel. If you already did that, then welcome back. Mm. And this is Craig. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do that? I'm gonna call Caitlin. Caitlin mostly speaks uh, Afrikaans, like really little bit of English, but I'm gonna call her and I'm not gonna speak Afrikaans. I'm just gonna speak English to her. Just follow. Her. Caitlin! Caitlin! Can I show you something? What do you think about? Men doing this on their beards. You think it's, it's a spray? It's a spray, yeah. It's, it's but yeah. You, can you take it off again? Yeah, it comes in the brush like this. What do you think? It's nice, yes. So, that's before. Right. And that's what Yes, it's quiet. You can't say mushy. But it's quiet. So you don't feel like it's a, it's a trick? I feel like, like it's, it's, it's a If they like it, then why exactly. not? Exactly, and I feel like if women can wear makeup, then, then men, men can, can do that. Men can do it yes. also, right? Thank you, Caitlin. Do you know, I asked, I asked Leah, and Leah's like, no, they can't do that. They yes. shouldn't be doing yes. that. Hey? But they like see men, but they like it too. Yeah, see? Yes. Thank you. Hey, what's up, everyone? So, what we need firstly is we need an airbrush like the one that we have here so you'll see on the box that it does come with its own air supply and this little hose so it's a full-on kit the stuff are really easy to get the stuff you can get straight from a cake uh, supplier not a bakery the supplier that supplies them with the tools that they need so i've got this right here in access park there's a supplier over there got the airbrush from them okay So it's pretty basic stuff that you're really getting. You're gonna get an airbrush. Um, you'll see that that's the airbrush. Uh, just opens like that. It's a gravity feed one, so you'll be getting that. Your adjustment screw at the back here to determine how wide the spray is gonna be. You got that, you got a basic power supply, little ear compressor, a holder that kind of just fits in the top of it like that to secure the airbrush in there. So the airbrush will be secured in there. So that's kind of just what it looks like and then obviously you got your your air hose so yeah that's it that's all that you need and then you're also going to need a need little card or a little template so i'm going to use one of my business cards and i'm just going to cut a little corner onto the one side so it's cool that mine already have a circle on it so i'll just cut it like that and that's the template that i will use most of the time you're going to do a lot of the correction work with your um, straight edge razor but having this car just really does make it a bit easier uh, you know you use it when you are busy just putting on your first layer of um, tint so yeah so just really easy stuff that's the basic stuff that you need uh, you need one little corner you need one little corner and then obviously you need a 90 degree corner as well for when you get into those um, corners that you just want to really bring out the, um, the lines and make it really pop so that's basically what you need um, yeah and then that's it i'll show you how to um, assemble all of it what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, attach the the hose um, and this is just a normal hose that comes with a kit we're just going to attach it to the airbrush and then obviously to the pump as well. So I'm just going to drop that one corner there. So we're just going to attach that on there. And that goes on there. And then we attach the other side to the pump like that. Yeah. And then this is your pressure screw. So here you will just adjust how much pressure you actually want to put in and then we just attach the power to it and then um, 
this will then obviously then just fit in like that and your um, e-brush will just sit there like that right I've now attached mine and I've put my compressor just at the bottom of the base in here so I have access to it you can hear me switch it on and off on off on off okay and the moment you switch it on you'll feel that, that there's a little bit of air blowing there and that's cool and when you pull the trigger to the back it then adds um, the paint to it if you want to call it that so I'm just going to put some um, cleaner in here Put some cleaner in and then just spray that through. So there is different ways of doing this, I do realize that, but that's all cool. Switch it off. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this, I do realize that, and I do know that you know people will find their own way around. I just found this to be really easy for me instead of using the applicator brush, I use the little airbrush. And then I add the semi-permanent pre-mixed um, black uh, hair dye um, from Cobble. So I just use this, I throw it straight in there and then um, and I use it on my clients, that's all I do. So you just want to just open it up and to show you, I use it straight from the bottle. And you can see I've been using this bottle for a while. Uh, it's just a chest. See? Right. And I'll just throw a little bit in there, just a little bit like that. That is more than enough to do a client. I'll put the lid on so that I don't miss. And I'll show you what it sprays like on that business card that we just prepared. So I normally do keep a card, uh, a tester card that I spray on and I'm just getting it from the drawer here. So this is the tester card, you can see what it looks like. I've tried different colors on it and I've been using it for a while. So this is the tester card that I use. And I will obviously just spray on the tester card. And as the paint starts to come through, it obviously overpowers the cleaner that I put in there. So that's fine. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see, I'm just slightly pulling the trigger and then you'll see what it does on the card. There you go. And now when I add more pressure, it starts to really, and if I go closer, it's darker. And if I go further away, it kind of just mists on there. I hope that helps you guys. So I will just spray the card like that. And that is um, semi-permanent color. Just using it as a spray. So let me switch this off again. And I put that away. So all I need to find now, to find now is a client willing um, to sit down and let me do this for him. And then um, you guys can see what it looks like first hand on a client. So that's what the beard looks like now. But I just want to do an enhancement sort of, you know, just to bring it out a little bit more, edge that a bit better, squared off. Some people say that um, this lineup idea it's very new age, you know, it's very modern, it's not really traditional barbering because nobody did that in the past. So some people have the opinion that um, you're a bit of a makeup artist when you're doing that. Uh -huh. How do you feel? Uh -huh. <laughs> do, you feel do you feel like it's makeup? No, I don't think it's, it's, it's like it. No, it looks a bit better. Okay, quick disclaimer, um, we've actually done this before, so you're a perfect person to be on camera for the enhancement because you can actually give me feedback on how it was when I did it the last time. Like skin reactions, people's reactions to your beard, I was a little bit. There were no reactions, it was just like normal. normal. Like normal? Yeah, I felt normal, I just got home, took a shower. When you say no reactions, you're referring to your skin? My skin, there was no, no like irritations or burns or anything. You know, normally when you cut your hair, you'll get your a burn. Like you normally say people put Vaseline on your hair and stuff, but there was nothing like that. No, no irritations per se? Nothing. Okay. And how was the reaction, especially from the wife? She had a good reaction there. Just sitting, you can ask her what she thought about it. She, oh, was, she, she was impressed. I love it. Absolutely. And I love the announcement. And make this beard look on point, on fleek. She was very much impressed. And a few other people also could... Some of them didn't notice at first. Which is a good thing. Yeah, and then... 
you have to know, obviously tell him, listen, hey, I think this was my <laughs> wife said, hey, what do you want to do to you because yeah, she always yeah. sees me every day. Yeah. You know? So when when they knew they could see oh now there was something done to you be it. After you pointed it out. After I pointed it out, yeah. Okay, that makes me feel really good because that may, that means that I did it so subtly that it wasn't like smack in your face mm -hmm. look you know what i mean because i think that's kind of the challenge right now the challenge is that we don't always have access to airbrush and the technology if you want to call it that to get away with what people are doing globally we use a paintbrush mm -hmm. or an applicator brush and we paint it on and then we have to rinse it off but i have an airbrush and i found out that there is a semi-permanent color that's pre-mixed and that's exactly what I used on you the last time. Okay. So we're going to be doing that again today. Okay. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. You know, make these videos for you. It's not for me. Okay, so now uh, his beard is all done. This is where we generally just leave it. This is where we leave off. We'll obviously put an astringent or aftershave on and he'll be out the chair. But today we're doing this enhancement. So um, you want to start off with clean lines already. Does it remember it's an enhancement, it's not a repair tool, it's not a correction tool, it's not meant to fix up when I make mistakes or there's imperfections. It's just to enhance what we already have. So make sure that you start already with nice clear lines as you can see over there. And then the tools that I showed you earlier is exactly, you know, you've got your little card that's cut out. You just need a, a corner on the one side and a straight edge on the other. And that's really just what you need. So let's get straight into that. Mellow Beats. So cleaning the gun really, really easy. All you want to do is, um, as you can see, there is still, just check in there, there's still paint in there. So I'm just going to throw that out. Maybe you, I'm just going to throw that paint out. I'm going to add a little bit of water. That's too much. I'm just going to rinse it out with some water. I like using the wild one because it's also um, it's more oil based, so it's meant for flippers. So I throw that in there and it kind of just cleans and lubricates the needle and just gets all the muck really out there. So that's what I do to clean the gun, it's really simple. You want to check it out? I have to switch it up. Want to check that out? And that's it, gun is clean. Simple as that, gun is nice and clean, and that's how I clean the gun. Right. What beard enhancements for men? Why asking me, Warren? I'm just asking you, like, what do you think about it? Like, if a man uses a spray on his hair to make it look better, what do you think? No, guys, you don't do stuff like that, Warren. But women wear makeup. But guys shouldn't use stuff like that. Why not? Do no, you feel it's like lying. a lie? Right? Do you feel like they're lying to make their beard look better than what it is? <laughs> yes, they are, Warren. But don't women wear concealer and makeup? I don't wear concealer, Warren. But women wear makeup. But I so don't. is it the same? Maybe ask in my opinion. Yeah, but now it's like it makes it look more black. More black. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, I, now now I have You know what I'm talking yeah. about. You it love it. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, but some people feel like it's, it's they lying. No, it's not about that. It's about how we look because also us girls we put weaves to look yeah, good. To know? look good. Yeah, and so we makeup. We also wear makeup. So men can wear that enhancement. Men to make can that also lines. make it. Yeah. 